Hi there. Today we're going to quickly write an application with the assistance platform which will allow me to uh, list all the customers in a back-end SAP system, then get information for a specific customer, and then change that customer's information. So we go to the platform ID and we create a new module with the theme that we like. So we see that here we have we're going to have a home page but before we even show the home page with a list of customers, we'll make it anonymous, uh, we have to get data from a back-end system. And we see all the possible um, integrations that we have available. So with SAP, we're going to consume SAP APIs. I see that here I have to connect to the back-end system. And I'm going to test my connection. I see that it's working and I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, functions. So here we see a menu of all the available uh, functionality that is being exposed by the SAP connector. We can drill down on any specific topic until we find what we like and we can see um, the different APIs. When you look at an API, the connector will show you input parameters, output parameters, so you can study what is available and then once you find something you can select it. In my case I know that I'm going to be looking for customers so I search for get customers. The system searches, I find the API I want and I uh, say finish. When I do this I see I have a new API with all the variables um, needed for input and output. Also, in data, I see that a new uh, structure is created with either data like return codes or data like information. So in my, if I go back to interface and in my home page, I'm going to create an action to um, get that data. So I go to logic and I bring my API and now I'm going to have all my customers. In my screen I need to show the customers. So let's look at the screen. Um, list of SAP customers and perhaps we can uh, put a date here so make it more interesting. We can come here, uh, build in functions like for example date find the uh, current date and then we can show with a table all the customers that are in the system. So here true change is complaining because it doesn't know where this data is coming from. So I see that I have a source record list. I can investigate what it um, what the choices are. I see that I can look at return codes or I can look at um, the the customer information that's coming. It still wants to know which fields I'm interested in showing. So I can come to my data, open up what I have available, and we probably will need a customer number, we'll want to show country, let's also show company name and, uh, and the last name of the customer. And we can uh, maybe clean up a little bit uh, this headers, uh, customer number, and here we can have company uh, name and then the last name and I think the customer number should be on the left side so we're ready uh, to show the customers and let's give it a go our application has published so let's look at it in the browser here we can see the list of SAP customers with today's date also notice that I am also um, using Reflector to display what the same application that we just created, the same application but rendered in a mobile device. This is great. We only have to develop an application once and we can deliver it both in mobile devices and also the web. So let's um, let's add more functionality to our application. We go back to our IDE and now we have to work on our interface flow. 
So we have our home page with the listing. Now we need a screen in which we will change customer information. Customer change. And we're going to be getting information for a customer and then changing information for a customer. So I need to get two new APIs. Come back to my logic and I will explore for more uh, functions. First, I'm going, I'm going to be getting customer details. So let's search for something like this. And I select the one I need. Then I, I know I'm going to also be doing a customer change. So customer change, I search for. And this time, we're going to select this API. Press finish. And now I have two new APIs available. Customer change requires um, an action that happens before the screen shows. Now I need to get detail for the customer. You can see that I need to supply a customer number and we'll need a variable in this screen with the customer number to give to this API. And where is it that I'm getting the customer number? Let's look at our flow. I'm going to be coming from homepage. So I click here. I have the customer number there. I'm going to create a link here to the screen there's the customer change. I go OK. And I see that I have an issue here that this requires, this link requires an input parameter. So the platform gives me some suggestions. I see that I have the customer number. And now I supply that. Now I see that I come to the customer change screen. And I will have that data. So I can. Uh, perhaps with an ex expression uh, information for and then expression for the customer number and let's pick the value of the variable and here we can select what widget we want to use to display information will be editing information so this comes comes in handy edit record the edit record for the source I'm going to be getting all this different information from the action before this, this screen. And in this case, I'm interested in customer address. And here I have to supply the variables that I wish to change. If I come to my um, data, I see that I have this customer address structure. So I'm going to just bring this whole thing here. And now I have all those variables available. Of course, I'm going to need a button to press. Uh, to create some sort of action. So I bring a, 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 a button like OK. Let's change its value to something more meaningful like update. And true change is uh, asking for a destination. If I double click on the button, um, an action will be created on my behalf. Nothing is happening here yet. I'm going to come to logic and I see that I have this API with some inputs and outputs. And I'm going to bring this over here. And once again, I have to supply this information. Customer number comes from the variable. The PI address, if I look in uh, into my expression editor, I see that when I edit my record, I have a record of address information. So I supply that. And finally, uh, there's some default data that I have to supply. I know that my sales org is uh, 1,000. So now I have all this, and when I come back, I don't want to come back to the same screen. I want to go back to the screen that called me. So I grab a destination icon, and I tell it to go right back to the home page. And let's give it a go. It has published, so now we can open it in the browser. I see my list of customers. I'm going to change one of the customers. 3300. But before I do that, let's look at the data here. Let's notice, for example, that the street is all sevens. That's going to be easy to remember. 
let's bring in another tool which will allow us to see the backend system. I'm going to go into uh, this SAP native tool to change customer and let's look at this same customer and I press enter and I see that it's the same customer, same information as we are displaying in the browser. So let's change it. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel the action. I'm not gonna make any changes. But in the browser, I'll change the sevens to something we can remember, like let's change it to five. And hit update. And we come back to the original screen. Let's see if our change took place. Once again, I'm looking at the data in SAP. And in fact, we did change the data just as we intended to do. Let's look at some other great functionality that the um, OutSystems platform gives us when it comes to SAP APIs. Now I'm looking at another uh, tool offered by the platform, which gives us a lot of other additional information a lot of audit type of information and also performance information and a lot of granular detail. For example, here we can see that when we had the Get Detail API, if I look at the detail, I see the sevens that we got, that we received, and then, and then when we call the change from data after the user uh, press enter, they were changing that data to all fives. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.